Dr. Fernanda Palhano, who will be talking about ayahuasca and depression. So Fernanda holds a master's and PhD in neuroscience from the Brain Institute of UFRN, and has been studying ayahuasca since 2010. And she's evaluated the effects both in healthy volunteers during her master's and in patients with treatment resistant depression. So I'll hand over to you now, Fernanda. Thanks very much. Hi, Anna. Thank you for this introduction. I'm really glad to be here in Spain now. Uh, I want to thank Joe and Drug Science for inviting me. So um, let me share my screen. Um, I hope you are seen. Uh, so, yeah, so um, what I want to share with you today is uh, some insights we had from um, Ayahuasca, a, a randomized control trial we performed here in Brazil during my PhD uh, to test Ayahuasca for treatment resistant depression. So first, uh, I want to talk a little bit about Ayahuasca, what is it? Uh, so Ayahuasca is the psychedelic brew from Amazonia origin which is uh, used for centuries by indigenous populations and also since the 30s has uh, been a sacrament for several uh, syncretic churches. These churches were uh, at the beginning in Brazil, but today they are like spread uh, all around the world. Uh, the most common preparation for ayahuasca is uh, to mix the leaves of the psychotia viris with the bark of a liana, the Banisteria obscapi. These uh, two plants are mixed together and boiled with water for hours or even days. And at the end, we uh, have this uh, brownish colored liquid with a very peculiar uh, taste and smell. From a pharmacological point of view, we uh, consider ayahuasca as a classic uh, psychedelic. Uh, the leaves of the, of the psychotravirids has the N-N-D-methyltryptamine, uh, which is a serotonin agonist. Um, so uh, when uh, we uh, take taken this uh, DMT orally, the, we have some enzymes in our uh, gastrointestinal tract that uh, degrade the substance uh, and it uh, prevents the effect. Uh, on the other hand, we have uh, in the bark, in the liana, we have some uh, armala alkaloids, which contains uh, mal inhibitors. So when taken together, these, uh, these uh, armala alkaloids will prevent the action of the monamine oxidase uh, allowing the DMT to reach to, to reach the brain and provoke uh, its effects. Since 2006-2007, uh, our group, which is uh, uh, led by Dr. Draulio Daraujo, uh, has been investigating the antidepressant effects of ayahuasca. So, in this uh, first open label study, six part uh, six six patients participated in a single, uh, in a study with a single dose of ayahuasca, in which we assessed uh, their depressive symptoms using uh, psychiatric scales. These are questionnaires uh, and with some questions to assess uh, the severity of depression. Um, so we observed a very impressive uh, antidepressant response which begins uh, one day after the dosing and lasted for 21 days. But this was a small uh, sample study. So we uh, had a subsequent study with 17 patients and which we assessed the same scales, but also we performed um, a cerebral blood flow uh, assessment uh, evaluation eight hours after the, the session. Here, we uh, again, uh, we observed um, antidepressant effect, which uh, started already 
during the session, four minutes after the dosing, and which lasted also 21 days. We also uh, observed some increase in blood flow in regions uh, which uh, may be involved in depression, such as the nucleus accumbens and amygdala and insula and the subgenual anterior cortex. Uh, so these results are very impressive, very, very uh, promising, but we have a limitation uh, due the design of the trial. In this, uh, both studies that I show, uh, we used an open label design, which means that both patients and doctors knew the treatment uh, administered. So uh, in this type of uh, this type of design, we can face a, a, a huge placebo effect. So we cannot say if what uh, we saw it was due to ayahuasca or to this uh, placebo effect. So to address this issue, we uh, used a gold standard uh, design, which is to do a double-blind placebo-controlled uh, trial. And here you can see uh, the whole protocol we used. The, the experimental session lasted for four days. And uh, besides using the psychiatric scales, we also uh, assessed several um, measurements as uh, neuro neuropsychological tests, uh, fMRI scans, uh, sleep EEG. We also collected blood and saliva samples to, to those uh, hormones and biochemical markers. And all these measures were done just before one day before the dosing session and also one day and two days after the dosing session. Uh, we also had um, a psychiatric evaluation seven days uh, after. Uh, it's important to say that here we had two groups, so it was a parallel uh, uh, design trial. We had one group of patients who uh, took ayahuasca and another group of patients uh, took, uh, that took placebo. And um, these patients were treatment-resistant depressive patients that uh, they were like experienced uh, depression for a long time. And also they had tried at least two uh, conventional treatments before uh, underwent, the uh, underwent the trial. So as a result, we found this uh, rapid antidepressant effect uh, of ayahuasca, which uh, you can see here in this graph. So here again, we have this, uh, this scale, uh, the psychiatric scale, which evaluates uh, the, the, the severity of depression. Higher the scores, higher is the, the, the severity. In red, we show ayahuasca group and blue, the placebo group. So you can see that here already at day one, one day after the, a single dose uh, of ayahuasca, we see a, a significantly decrease in, in, depression, in, in the depressive symptoms uh, from ayahuasca group. Uh, we also noticed that the placebo group has uh, a decrease in the symptoms. So as expected, we see, we saw a, a placebo effect, but we can see that the, these uh, reductions in the, the symptoms of from the ayahuasca group are more robust and also last longer. Indeed, you can see that here, seven days after the dosing, we had this uh, great uh, between groups difference. So uh, this is very interesting and then we want to take a net, uh, next step investigating uh, what this is happening or uh, what are the mechanisms behind this, uh, this antidepressant effect. As Kim mentioned, um, now we have uh, a whole uh, a lot of people studying these uh, non-hallucinogenic psychedelics analogs. So uh, with this, uh, this uh, new research, that's a lot of debate going on on whether the subjective effects uh, from the psychedelics are necessary or not to these uh, positive outcomes uh, we are seeing. Um, so here in our trial, uh, we try to explore this a little bit further and we assess it. Both the subjective effects during the session. So here I show 
uh, we use this uh, hallucinogen curated scale uh, to assess uh, changes in perception, cognition uh, during the session. And we observed that the, plus, the ayahuasca group had uh, significantly high scores on these scales, except for the effect. And more interesting, we found that uh, the visual perception changes were positively correlated with the improvements in the MADRIS uh, scale. Uh, in other words, uh, the patients who during the session experienced more visual changes, visual effects, were that they um, improved more seven days uh, after the dosing. Uh, on the other hand, as I said before, we also uh, assessed some biological, biochemical markers, such as the cortisol, which is a hormone related to stress and which seems to be uh, changed by depression. Uh, we also assess the BDNF, this molecule, uh, which is related to the neuroplasticity and also plays an important role in depression and some inflammatory biomarkers as the C-reactive protein that uh, as, uh, seems also to be uh, altered by, by depression. So in all these cases, what we showed is that the, the ayahuasca can modulate these uh, biochemical markers. And more than that, we also uh, find that that's a correlation between the improvement or in, in the case, for example, uh, in the, the C-protein reactive, which is in, at the baseline, it's normally increased in patients with depression. We saw that after the treatment with ayahuasca, these levels were reduced and this reduction were positively correlated with the reduction in depressive symptoms. So uh, to conclude, uh, uh, we found in this trial that ayahuasca has a rapid antidepressant effect. We believe that the underlying effects we are uh, observing with ayahuasca are indeed multifactorial and ranging from biochemical changes to more subtle uh, subjective uh, process. And I believe that uh, this work supports the therapeutic value and the safety of the psychedelics uh, when administered in uh, an appropriate setting uh, to help treat depression. Um, I want to thank, to thank all the, the group of people uh, which help with uh, collecting data, analyzing the data. And this was a two years and a half uh, trial and uh, thank you to, to Dr. Draulio, which was my, my supervisor at, at the PhD. And thank you, you all.